Oh, hi there. My name is Peter, and this is Chris. See what I did there? God be with all of you. Yeah. It's about time the Vatican updated itself for the modern world that we live in. Vatican 2.0, if you like. Mass book. Instasam. Transubstantiation tube. I wouldn't even... Only the man in the funky hat and red shoes has the power to shake things up. So we went out and asked the public... How, how can, can the, the new pope, pope fix the, the church? church? We or... of little faith have some... Faith. Is that a quote from the Bible? It is. is it, which which book of the Bible is the that? The Return of the King. That's Lord of the... If I was a pub, if you're a pope, P-O-P-E, not P-U-B, where you were tonight. No, our cameraman is berating the guy who's <laughs> trying to get a question up. P-U-B, where you were tonight. Come here, you fucking asshole. If you were the fucking pope, what the fuck would you do? Um, when reviewing the footage, it all starts off very optimistic. <laughs> but, yeah. but within 20 minutes, our cameraman Killian has descended into a complete frustrated strop. I make girls just come in whatever they want to wear, like, you know. What do they want to wear? They want to wear nice stuff. Maybe it's the best anyone could do while getting interrogated. P-U-B, where you were tonight. Make it way shorter. To get the mask way shorter, the parish is going to have to get a ruthless editor. And they need to just be like, the second reading is from the letter of St. Paul. A second? What do you think this is? A bloody readathon? He's our father. He is in heaven. We get it. We dance sex. Just kind of scrap the whole Catholicism thing, adopt a little bit of Rastafarianism, and we'll all be fine. These guys might be even wearing their Rasta colors. They'd actually want to be stoned because they're being followed by the man with the world's most annoying voice. I'm not even messing. Hello! How are ya? I think a lot of people want some sort of a Steve Jobs type pope. Yeah, they call it like brand realignment or something like that. They just need to recalibrate their image. Firstly, we need to draw some comparisons here. Okay. I think we need to try and show things were bad, mm. but they could have been worse. Hello there. I'm from the church. <laughs> and I... Well, I, I don't know how else to start it. <laughs> the Holocaust happened in Germany and people still go there. So, I don't know why you guys... Can't overlook a few decades of systemic child molestation and consider at least coming back to the church. We've I, gotten I don't most think of them. molestation and holocaust are necessarily the correct buzzwords. There's not the correct synergy from those words. Or participation with the That's her opinion. My story is like in the audience, like in the. There's offended woman face. There is offended woman face. Will you shut up, Teresa? I was talking. Do it in slow mo. In the audience. <laughs> <laughs> she never stops, Chris. Oh, yeah. Take it down a notch, maybe. It could be like Microsoft's new strategy for trying to get people to return to Internet Explorer, where they accept there was some massive failings in the past. But hey, things are better now. Yeah, like, we're trying now. now. And you know what? Let's all hang out again. We've imprisoned and brutalized young men and women who were vulnerable, but... There's no more of that now, or certainly considerably less than <laughs> no, considerably, their use. Considerably less doesn't say, doesn't doesn't exactly say we've fully learned our lesson. All that's, right. that's not gonna work for Joe and Sarah at home watching right. on TV. I can almost promise you there'll be no more of any of that kind of shenanigans that there was, and now. We, we offer the church on an iPad. No. We're just like Apple, really. In fact, God invented the original Apple, so, you know. They gave her oh. a bottle of Bookfast before we did, right? He offers a Bookfast as a suggestion, and the guy to his right instantly gives a demonstration of what it would sound like. Hey! <laughs> you can see him thinking, saying, what should my answer be? Then he obviously can't think of an answer. So he settles for. I think it needs a catchy slogan. The church. A lot done, a lot more to do. I know what you mean, that kind of thing. Something about a second chance. If you can forgive Chris Brown, would you consider <laughs> forgiving us? Yeah, the ad just ends with a picture of Rihanna and Chris Brown holding hands. Yeah, I mean, if you can forgive that, can you not forgive some of our indiscretions? <laughs> and then it cuts to a massive scene of hundreds, <laughs> maybe even thousands of priests all in the grandstand, <laughs> looking, looking hopeful. I think we've got ourselves a strategy. Three. Four, two. 